Wow, there really is just a whole lot of nothing there. Okay. Yep, head on over to the W in Westfield. The second one, that is. All right, here we are. There we go. Look, they keep they keep pace, all right. You know what? We can buff up the Storm Atronach speed. Let's see if we can do it. Here. You know what? We'll waste a little bit. There we are. Uh, there you are. How you doing now? Ooh, look at him go! Uh. Wow! He's like gonna fly away! He's like a fucking helicopter! Oh, hey gang! What's good? Welcome back to, uh, Oblivion. I was just, uh, <laughs> finishing up a little bit of artwork here, you know. Just doing a little bit of painting. You know, uh, that's, uh, what would you like to do? It's, uh, this one, uh, this piece I call it reward painting. It's, it's, uh, it's a real, <laughs> it's a real beaut. But, uh, you know, I was just in here thinking to myself, painting a lonely painting of, uh, a night sort of landscape in the city. Definitely my painting. This is how I paint, by the way. I'm a fist painter. You've heard of finger painters. <laughs> about fist painter. But, uh, thinking about, hey, you know, when we're traveling to all these miscellaneous dungeons, which, you know, uh, we're doing for the miscellaneous mayhem where we're clearing out every single dang possible dungeon ever in the entire damn game, sometimes it gets a little lonely with me and Gordon, you know? Just the two of us. It's all it's been for a long time. It gets a little lonely. And, uh, <laughs> I'm never going to stop punching this thing. And, uh, or painting this thing. The creamy man, sometimes he's there, but psh, about half the time he's just fucking off God knows where. So I thought, man, what could we do to possibly mend this? And, you know, maybe it would help with uh, clearing stuff out a little bit faster. So uh, I got to thinking, man, have we have we perhaps met any friends along the way who'd be down for a bit of a fun-ass adventure? And the answer was fucking hell yeah we did, baby! Look at this! Oh my god, we've got all the greats! Guess what? Mage Apprentice, damn from the Mage's Guild. Thanks to us being an Archmage, she's totally on fucking board. Back here, Storm Atronach Familiar, doing a weird ass dance. Thanks to us having completed the Frost whatever Spire Wizard Sanctum. This dude's totally down to clown. And Sir Avita, oh shit, thanks to us being the Divine Crusader uh, reincarnation or whatever. Sir Avita, totally down to clown. Also back here, we got Dark Brotherhood Murderer. Thanks to us being the listener and murdering people and seeing a whole bunch of horrific shit. Damn, he's ready to murder. He loves murdering people. And also back here, oh shit, who could forget? Castellanathon. That's right, baby, Castellanathon. All the way from... Battlehorn Castle. <laughs> That's right. Thanks to us clearing out all that shit, doing a whole bunch of shit, upgrading stuff, getting people in there, fighting off a million, billion, gazillion fucking demons all over, swarming in. Ugh, demons everywhere, coming in, attacking us, coming after us. Castellanathon's like, you? I like the cut of your jib. I'm joining you. I lend you my shield. What have we got here? We've got a whole fucking... Lord of the Rings ass adventuring party. Look at this. Even the creamy man has shown up. Oh, let's get Gordon up in here. Oh shit. Hold up. Hold up. Let's get Gordon up in here. Oh shit. Oh god. We're really squeezed up here in here. This is like gonna break the weight limit of this little tiny cabin. <laughs> We're just gonna collapse on over to the side. All right. So let's uh let's head on out here. Let's uh hit up a few more of these. Oh god. Oh oh oh. Duh. Team champion of Cyrodiil. Hang on. God, we need a better name than Team Champion of Sierra. Oh, Team Cock, of course, Team Cock. <laughs> all right. Oh God, they all spawn in in front of me. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, I can't even really get out of the fucking booty hole. It's so overcrowded with people coming to visit, going inside to check it out and give it a take a nice whiff. All right. <laughs> Good God. Let us travel on back out. To the West Weald, as you will recall, we cleared out everything up here in the Imperial Reserve. So now we have moved down further to uh, the South Central, I guess you would call it, uh, to the West Weald area. Just going to clear out everything here, and we've already got quite a few. I put that down as a marker indication for a future, but for now we just need to check out Nizen Cave or whatever. We can mark Priory of the Nine is done because we have absolutely completed that. Otherwise, Sir Vita would not be along for this jaunt. All right, should we head on over to Nornalhorst? I think so. 
Huzzah! Come on, party! Da 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 ba, ba, ba. Oh my god, look at this! This is fucking glorious! Alright. Oh shit! Oh, they've engaged the enemy! They've engaged the enemy! Oh, it's Yogi fucking Bear! Oh, fuck him up! Yes! Yes! <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, this is gonna be great. Ba 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 ba. Are they all melee? Oh God, I think they are. I was hoping that like the Dark Brotherhood dude would whip out a bow and she would probably start slinging spells, <laughs> but I think they're all just melee. <laughs> oh God, look, our friend back there is slow as shit. All right, Storm, <laughs> Storm Matronac Familiar, may uh may be in this for the long game. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Nizen Cave, up here. To me, my loyal followers, we go forward on a glorious crusade across Cyrodiil. I am the, the Divine Crusader. Ho-ho! Ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-ba, ba-ba-ba. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see. God, I'm afraid to activate my speed, otherwise they may, uh, I don't know what'll happen. Either they'll teleport on top of us and, like, slowly start to die from the fall damage, or... Oh shit, look at this! Or they will just completely get lost. Oh shit, look at this shit. Oh man. Alright, here, I actually need to unequip my fists. <laughs> That'd be helpful. Alright. Oh shit, look at that! Oh, yeah, look, man, this is great! Who needs to s Oh shit. Our friend, our murder friend is getting a little weak. He's a little worse for wear. Alright, it's fine though, it's fine. Too bad we don't have, like, some kind of healer. Shit, I thought we had, like, a balanced party. But all we've got is fucking DPS! Alright. There we are. Take care of you. Oh, shit. Watch out! Careful, team! Don't get into my line of fire! Whew! <laughs> oh, this is great. Alright. Let's uh, let's mark this as done. Nizen Cave. Boom. Oh, Nizen Cave. You ain't gonna know what hit ya. Oh, look at that. I've gathered my party to venture forth. Oh, my gosh. Alright, here. Let's, uh... Should we repair up? But we can't can't rest to get everyone healed. Oh shit, who are we in combat with? Oh god, is it Is it the Storm Atronac back there? <laughs> is he in trouble or something? Oh god. Alright here, let's let's just can we, Oh look, if we're in sneak mode, we can. Oh, the genius secret cut around route. Alright, look, everyone is ready for fucking battle. Let's go on inside. <laughs> oh fuck me. Alright, here we go. This is our first test of triumph, our trial and tribulation. All right, knights what have we got nine. inside? For the Knights of the Nine, and the Dark Brotherhood, and the Mages Guild, and, uh, who else? The Frostcrag Spire and Battlehorn Castle. <laughs> All right, there we are. Good shit. Don't feel bad. No one lives forever. <laughs> oh my god, there we are. Oh shit, sorry, sorry. Wow, look at him go. Yes! The battle is on! Huzzah! <laughs> Grab some potions, weak sorcery. Oh no! It's a giant naked man! Take him down! Everyone dogpile on that big naked cow man! Yes! <laughs> Get the horn! Rip off his horn! Alright! There's a giant crab fucker in here! Fuck that crab up! Fuck him! <laughs> Everyone fuck him up! <laughs> Look at him go! Wow, did someone summon a skeleton? Wow, yeah, she's a summoner! Woo! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, yeah, fight mud crabs! Fight them all! Oh, shit, I can't even get in! <laughs> Gordon is stuck up in there! Oh, look at this shit! Oh, no! No, did our beautiful Night Master fall? Oh, no, he's been felled! Man down! Man down! Oh, God! It's Castellanathon! No! He's died! Oh, he died a glorious death. He had a manual of arms and 30 Gs. I'll take it. All right. But Castellanathon, you have not fought your last. Ho-ho! Rise from your grave. Rise from your grave. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Fatalos on the line! Fatalos on the nine! <laughs> Fuck him up! Spriggins no more! Be gone, Yogi Bear! Oh, look at this. This is awesome! Is, is Castellanathon back? Oh, look, he is back. 
All right, let's see. Should we juice up? Hell yeah, we should. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. All right, man, fucking Oblivion. After 200 fucking hours, it's still got plenty of joy left to give. Ugh. Just bend down and start suckling from that sweet, sweet teat of adventure. <laughs> Drag wax, take some of that. Oh, Castellana Thon. No more. Rise again! Oh, -ho! <laughs> how big is this place? Let's see. This seems like a small one, huh? Uh, take a look here. Oh uh, yeah, this is relatively small. All right, should we grab some shrooms? Yo, check it out, Team Cock. We got the massive shrooms up in here. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go. Start tripping shrooms. There we go. Start fucking up spriggins. Messing up big naked cowmen. Oh, what's not to love? The ultimate adventure. <laughs> Lord of the Rings ain't got nothing on this. Get out of here, Tolkien. <laughs> All right. Throw down some of that. Oh, yeah. All right, let's swap weapon here to Queen Barry. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's a pretty terrible fucking tank, isn't he? He went down in so few hits. Okay. There we go. Let's juice up again. Get Castellanathon back on up. There you are, friend. <laughs> Good lord, is he gonna follow us out of the dungeon, you think? I think he might- <laughs> After this dungeon, he may be done for it. Alright, let's give this a quick pick. There we are. And let's see. Oh, there we go. That ain't half bad. Alright, and let's see. Queen Barry. For kind of us on the nine! Does she say a different one of the nine divines every time? Look at this. Some of them, though, they've got, like, their Daedric weapons and shit. Ooh, she's got an arrow sticking right out of her- Castellanathon, did you stick an arrow up her asshole? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Castellanathon! Oh shit, our, our murder friend is almost dead. Alright, we need to tread carefully. Alright. <laughs> His sound effect whenever he just falls over dead. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, let's get him back. Castellanathon! Rise from your grave! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Take care of this. Uh, there you are. And let's see, do we have any juice? No, we don't. And we'll just smash them apart. There we go. Oh, I don't give a shit about you, Yogi Bear. Alright. Be careful. I got the crowd control. There we are. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. There we are. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely the crowd control member. Alright. Good shit. Are you guys hitting me with magic and shit? Jesus Christ. There we are. Oh, yeah. What are they doing back there? Where's Castellanathon? Oh, she's an archer. Castellanathon! Come back! Oh, shit. He's snoozing on the job. You snooze, you lose, Castellanathon. Rise from your grave. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good God. That's probably why he died. Fucking Sir Avita's just gunning everyone down with her Daedric bow. <laughs> All right. Have you got silver arrows? No, thanks. Hard pass. Wisp stalks, I'll take them. I'll look. For Kinneris of the Nine! <laughs> look at him go! Castle of Thunder doesn't give a shit! He's pulling out the Captain America maneuvers! Oh, yeah! Alright, look at this. Oh, yeah. Hit him with this. Oh, there we go. Oh, Castle of Thunder is down. Alright, and juice up again. There we are. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Our friend is falling. Oh no! Everyone's dying! <laughs> wow, these ladies are nuts! Look, she shot an arrow right in his wiener! <laughs> Alright! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! This is incredible! Oh my god! So much fucking carnage! No, did she die too? No, that's Castellanathon. Where did Sir Avita go? No, she's still with us. Oh my god. Is Mage Apprentice and Sir Avita, are they like invincible? Has the creamy man imbued them with his dark taint? All right, let's see. Staff of Worms, rise from your grave. There we go. And Murder Friend, ro well, hang on first. Let's check him. Shrouded Army, he's got Shrouded Army. Should we take that? Nah, fuck it. Rise from your grave. All right, there we are. Can we rise from this thing's grave? No. <laughs> Wishful thinking. All right. Chest with a whole bunch of bullshit, but I'm taking it. The on the oh, there we go. Oh, he didn't like me talking about bullshit. All right. There we are. It's a Minotaur joke. <laughs> All right. And then, should we juice up? Now nah, we got plenty of juice. 
Look at this. Good job, team. Damn. All right. We need more ranged is what we need. <laughs> That's why they died so quick. <laughs> All right. Let's see around here. And anything else? Take a quick peek at the map. Oh, I think that's it. All right. Well, we'll lay them, uh, lay them to rest. <laughs> Goodbye, Castellanathon and Dark Brotherhood murderer. I'll miss you and I'll see you in another life. Oh, look, Castellanathon got beat the fuck up so bad. His chest exploded off of him. His breast just exploded. Oh my God. All right. Well, let's roll on up out of here. Let's do us some quick repairs. Heal ourselves up a bit. Man, should we just become like the ultimate support? No, we will run through potions like nobody's business. And I do not intend to uh, go buck wild with followers in Shivering Isles. No, since that's my first time experiencing it. I'd like to have a bit more of a standard experience rather than just a shitload of people with me. Right? Okay. So we'll, we'll preserve our potions and just... Uh, just have everyone die, slowly. <laughs> Alright, head on out here. There we go. Look, the Creamy Man's still alive. Good shit, Creamy Man. Alright, bring some of this up. There we are. And now we need to head on out to this W, I believe. Let me double check my big map and make sure there's nothing in between. Oh, yeah. There's just a big swath of nothing right here. Yeah, and before Priory of the Nine got put there, there was, man, just even more nothing. Alright. Huh. That is wild. Yeah. Wow, there really is just a whole lot of nothing there. Okay. Yep, head on over to the W in Westfield. The second one, that is. All right. Here we are. There we go. Look, they keep they keep pace all right. You know what? We can buff up the Storm Atronach speed. Let's see if we can do it. Here. You know what? We'll waste a little bit. There we are. Uh, there we are. How are you doing now? Ooh, look at him go! Wow! <laughs> He's like gonna fly away! He's like a fucking helicopter! He's like that old lady! Oh god! <laughs> Did you see that old lady spinning around on the helicopter? God, I feel like such an asshole for laughing at it. But hey, she survived, right? So it's fine. It's fine. If she died, it would be different. <laughs> oh my god. Dude straight up flattened the Timberwolf. Alright. Just fucking bulldozed over it. Look at him go! Fuck! <laughs> Jesus, he's glorious. All right, let's see. Let's whip this open. All right, down here, we actually need to follow the marker. Good God, I'm getting too fucking distracted by our fantastic team that has uh, already, we've lost half of them. <laughs> poor, those poor fucking people. All right, there goes Sir Vita doing like the long route, scouting around with her bow. Got the eagle eyes going on. Oh, what's this? Is this a little weird camp? Oh, man, maybe we should rest here. It's, like, all overgrown and shit. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, what is that? Oh, is that the Storm Atronach? Could be. Oh, God, did we lose Mage Apprentice? No. Mage Apprentice is still along for the ride. Okay. Cool. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think that's everything. I guess we should just... Yeah, we may as well rest here. Oh, gosh, almost forgot. <laughs> Before resting. We should... Yeah, we have, uh... Uh, porphyric hemophilia, right? We need to get that fixed up. Big thanks to gentle viewer Patrick pointing that out. There we go, let's go on down here, and... Potion of Cure Disease. Great! Ooh, I accidentally went at first person, I was so excited to drink it. Alrighty. Good shit. Now let's continue on over this way. There we are. What is even this place called? Oh, we don't know yet, right? Yeah, we don't even know. Ooh, what a mystery. Are you excited for the mystery of the... Mysterious future dungeon? The dungeon yet to come? Oh no, we need to buff up our friend again. Where'd you go, Storm Atronach Familiar? Oh god. Where did you go? Oh no, he's lost his way. Storm Atronach Familiar! Oh, there you go. Alright, good. I'll juice up a little bit. I'll, I'll hit you with two of them. You like that, huh? There we go. Hit you with the Mark 1 and the Mark 10. How's that? There we are. Look at him go. He's fucking raring for action. He's fucking raring for action. All right. Come on. Come on. Take off. Take flight. Take flight, baby bird. Fly. Fly. I believe in you. Oh, God. Ah, there he goes. <laughs> he can barely spin for a little bit. Oh, my God. He's like teleporting. It's like his latency is through the roof. And he's just lagging around. Oh, shit. 
For Rakatosh in the nine! She says it so gently. <laughs> Fuck me. I fucking destroy shit. Alright. Here we are. Ooh, look. Atronach v Atronach combat. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Get in there! Oh, look at him go! He's flying! Holy shit! Look at him backstep the cast! Oh my god! Oh, come on, fuck him up! Oh, yes! <laughs> I love how they scream. <laughs> They're so fucking excited to murder the shit out of these fucking things. Oh, shit! Wow! She one shot? Oh, because I'm applying a debuff, aren't I? Man, I really am just like the ultimate support right now for this group. Alright. Let's see, what is this place called? <laughs> Fuck, this was such a good idea. Fort Blackboot. There we go, market is done. <laughs> I know I've seen some strategies where this is how people will just beat max difficulty, right? They will just um, get all the followers, and then toward the end of their run, they'll complete all the follower quests, right? But, eh, it's, it's too ridiculous and over the top, huh? All right. For uh, all this, all the more serious moments. Oh God! Jesus! Oh my God! I thought it was the Atronach. All right. Ooh, there we are. Man, that is so good. Oh, team, you are doing me fucking proud. Except for the two who died, but we won't talk about that. All right, let's heal up real quick. Get everybody fixed up and repaired. Parmi, yeah, I'm. Parmi is tempted to get some like group buffs and stuff. Man, I should just like full on respec out a pirate into paladin. I'll be a Piratidin. <laughs> That's terrible. <gasps> Let's go on up in here. Get some, like, auras going. Too bad you can't have that, huh? Alright. There we are. Dope. Okay. Let's head on inside, team. We need to clear out this dungeon ASAP. The... The Emperor... Of, well, no. I guess, I guess the Emperor doesn't demand it. Alright. There's some foul demon over here. There we are. Take care of him. Oh, shit. Oh my god. She's pissed as hell. Oh my god. That Storm Atronach. Look, she can heal, but only herself. Oh my god, she's greedy as hell about it. All right, let's heal up again, big style. There we are, good. Let's rip out his heart. Yeah. Look, how many arrows does she have? Does she have infinite arrows? Is that how it works? I think so, right? Didn't we discover that with uh, enemies that they have infinite arrows? So I'm assuming... Any non-player character just has infinite ammunition, right? Okay. Let's look around here. Alright, yeah, a bunch of dead ends. Just one clear path. Double check here. Ooh, I think that we saw a Frost Atronach ass. The yep. There we are. And let's take care of this shit. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, they are so good. Alright. Let's see. Frost Salts. Ooh, I can't even take them yet. There we are. Or I just misclicked, like a like a damn fool, like a rookie. Sorry, everyone, even I make mistakes, even your brave leader. There we are. And let's take care of this fucking Storm Atronach. Oh, yeah, look, we didn't even need help for that one. Good shit. All right, what have you got, Void Salts? Yeah, we need the, we need the salts to summon up another one of our friends. Wait, where did he go? <laughs> where did, oh, look, he's so, poor dude. Here, let's give him some more speed. Let's see. There we are. Give me some speed! Any second now. There we go, give me some speed! Alright, there we are, and let's head on out this way. There we go, up and around. Up these stairs, oh god. Maybe I've gotten lost. Nope, okay, we're totally not lost at all. <laughs> we're fine, it's fine, it's fine. You're, you're brave, bold leader! It's full of courage and determination, I know exactly where we're headed. And it's to kill this thing. There we go. Wow, look at our friend go! <laughs> Just see him go speeding by. Alright. Conjurer is trying to chase him down. I saw a storm actor that go right through here! <laughs> Alright. Man, she just will not stop shooting people in the asshole. <laughs> she loves to aim for that area! Alright. Look at him go. Look at that little guy. Alright. Fucking eat shit. Eat a big bag of dicks. There we are. Ooh! <laughs> oh my god, she's trying to solo him. Oh no, she might not make it. Oh, she might not make it. Oh, I bet her reflected damage is doing more to herself. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh god, the titty spider is out in full force. There we go, let's take care of this asshole. And juice up. There we are. Did she make it? Oh my god, just barely. Or, I don't know. Somehow she is healed. Okay. 
I'm not sure what the fuck is going on with her health. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. There we go, look, she healed herself up. Man, she's so self-sufficient. I love that. Alright, we need more people who can self-heal. Okay, let's see here. Void salts, definitely want that, of course. And Conjurer, there we are. Daedric Dagger, I'll take it. There we go, good shit. And let's see. A little chest. Mandrake root, I guess we'll take it. Big gold. Barrel. Eh. Okay. Oh, look, the creamy man has decided to pop in. All right. Uh, have we fully cleared? No, okay. Let's see. I don't think we looted this. No, we did. I guess part of it fell down, yeah. Okay, here we go. Is this another one that's just one floor? I think so. All righty. What have we got up in here? Oh, man, this is a little complex. Look at this. There's a little bit of design going on here. Look at this. Oh, man. Like making a racetrack or something. All right. What have we got here? A summon Givalet. Or as I like to call them, oily men, because I have no idea you pronounce Givalet. There we are. Take some of those nice-ass potions. Okay. Hey, can we move this? Or is this part of the environment? All right, it's part of the environment. It's not like Lord Dagon's big-ass dumb head. Okay. Roll on down here. Is there anything down here? Or is this just a way to get back up? Seems like... the ladder. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we need to try and... Well, I don't know how we would even attempt to do that. <laughs> but next time we go to Battlehorn to get another fresh recruit, and next time we go to the Dark Brotherhood, we need to try and get ranged people. Especially spellcasters who may have... Uh, self-heals and stuff, right? Because, oh my god, the longevity... It's through the roof, and it scales really well with our Queen Berry, right? Because just, like, one application gives them double damage. Alright. Or even more than that, right? Because we yeah, the magic... Well, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be double. It would, or more than double, I should say. Because uh, we have the... Well, depending on what kind of spell they use, right? There we are. Take some of that. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. I still have this shit equipped. Look. I'm taking more damage than I need to. I've got the Woot Woot Ring on. Alright. Let's see, what am I looking for here? The, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> Iron Fist. Oh, God. Mundane. There we go. Whew. Man. Can you believe that? We're playing risky as hell without that thing on. Jeez. Look at this. We're feeling pretty fucking cocky. All right. Let's see. Go on over here. Oh, yeah. Let's quick save as well. Ooh, feels good to do that. Oh, yeah. All right. What have we got up in here? A nice little... Lounging area, got some sorcery potion, a dispel potion, kind of useless. Bread with a big old knife through it. Someone was still trying to figure out how to eat food. You know what? One step at a time, it's how you gotta live your life in Tamriel. Slowly advance up that uh, food eating skill. Sometimes you start, uh, you start at like 15 or whatever, right? This would be a miscellaneous skill. Galarian the Mystic. <laughs> yeah, they were so good at baking, but so bad at eating. What a... what a fucking infernal curse. Alright. Give this a pick. What have you got for me? Eh, 68 gold. Alright. A little barrel of torches. I guess we'll take them. Alright. And let's see, how the hell do we even get out now? <laughs> okay. This way? Yeah. Oh, I guess some of our merry friends must have closed the door behind them. Very polite. But ultimately counterintuitive for our purposes. All right, and then this way. There we go. Cool. And then, oh god. Although this is one floor, it is quite winding, huh? And claustrophobic. Okay, there we go. And then we should be right over here at the entry exit area, right? Oh, let's check this out. Got very hard lock. Lesser soul gem and 58 G's. I'll take it. All right. And there's the big old oily man. Good. Okay. How's our, uh, is our spinning dew friend still back there? Oh, God. <laughs> Might be taking a bit for our spinning dew friend. Alright, here. Maybe this will warp him right to us. Let's just do the trick. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, let's do some quick repairs. Good. And let's juice up, uh, spinning dude. There we are. Let's see here. Good. And now, let's consult our map for our next adventure. There we are. Mark that one as done. Okay. Now what is down here by this sort of natural border? Alright. So we do have this right by Breville. A nut will. Oh look, there is a dungeon right about here. 
Okay. Let's see. Are there any others down here? That, oh, look. Horn Cave and Pell's Gate. An old bridge. We have not fully explored them, apparently. Sweetwater Camp. Same boat. Okay. And otherwise, that's everything here. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's uh, mosey on up over here, right up to the... The... In the green road. There we are. And... Huzzah! Off we go! Oh, wait. Does everyone need healing? And eh, we'll heal up later. Right? Well, our friend still has a speed buff. There we go. Good! Oh, what a great idea to have all these folks with us. Yeah, we really need to see about somehow increasing the longevity of those two other companions. <laughs> Alright, they were not long for this. Especially, uh... Uh, Castellanathon. Jesus. I guess he actually went to try and tank, and it just did not work out well. Especially with Sir Avita just plunging millions and millions of arrows right up into his anus. Poor fucking guy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look. They got a little fire out front for us. Hey, that's fun. Oh, look at this guy go. My god. <laughs> Alright. And then... Oh, god. Are we... Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, look. Yogi Bear's out front to greet us. What's up, Yogi Bear? Oh, shit. Yogi Bear is mad as hell. Alright. There we are. Take care of this. Yeah. And... Wow. Jeez. Man, you fucking owned him big time, dude. Jeez! Alright. Man, we need to remember, Storm Atronach, as it turns out, meshes pretty well with our, uh, shock damage. Alright. Oh, look. This shovel is actually buried. Can I unbury it? Oh, shit. Oh, it's the creamy man coming in for the surprise hello. Man, they just got some, like, sp Oh, no! Could be some vamps up in here. Let's see. Coffin full of... A butt! Oh! Very nice. Alright. And looks like some calipers there. Okay, cool. Pothole Caverns. Market is done, preemptively. There we are. Head on inside and see what's in here. Oh, gosh. Gotta watch out if you're driving these parts. Alright. Ooh, shit, you can definitely hear some necromancy. Alright, we'll just activate that. Good shit. Fucking Arith of the Nine! Oh, God. Where is everybody? Oh, wait, have our friends also charged down here? Just big style? Jesus, she shot me in the asshole. Wow! No, Major Prentice, no! All right, here we go. We need some assistance here. Rise from your grave. There we are. Oh, shit. It's always so fucking loud and scary. All right. And then this fucking asshole. Jeez. Oh, All right. Jeez, man. These fucking necromancers are just running everywhere. It's making it real tough. All right. There we are. Let's get Gordon up in here, too. There we are. Gordon, to me. Who's this? Oh, this is Mage Apprentice. <laughs> all right. Come back, you necromantic asshole! Oh, look! Look at all this! Man, they stapled that dude to the fucking wall. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right, it's fine. It's fine. There we are. Got you. Is this someone's summon Zombo? No, it is, a, it is a worldly Zombo. All right. Should we juice up? We should, but we don't have any juice. All right, let's scroll down here, and throw on some petty, lesser, there we go, a couple more petties, perfect, I love it, there we are, good, make sure we have this refreshed, we Gordon out too, there we are, good shit, nice, alright, we're looking good there, there we are, where do you think our friends are at, maybe they're dead, straight up toast, alright, Someone over there slinging stuff. Did you see that? Or was that just like a whooshing effect? May have been a whoosher. There we are. Good. Take care of you. Good shit. Oh, was that, uh, was that our familiar? Nope. Okay, okay. Take it easy there, friend. Let's see, we'll drink some of these potions. Okay. And let's see here, throw in some more of these. Yep, petty. <laughs> Almost got me in the asshole. All right. Not today, Sir Vita. There we are. Take care of you. Good shit. Whew. All right. And where's this other... Oh my gosh, it's one of these dudes. All right. Let's see. Make sure we can get one of these off. Good, I think we got it. Let's quick save just in case things go poorly. And let's see. Petty. Lesser. Lesser. There we are. 
That should do it. All right. Looking good. Good shit. All right. Let's see, what have you got? Bone meal? Where's your staff at? Those are always worth taking. Oh, where did it go? It must have collided with the world and vanished forever. All right. That's fine. Get Gorn back out. Throw out the soul trap. All right. There we go. Oh, shit. Woo! Get some healing going on. All righty. And pop on some more of these petty souls. Man, it's good we're getting rid of these, huh? Finally. Okay. There we are. Really clogging up our inventory. Nice to have a, a relatively cleaned out inventory. Perfect for when we begin shivering aisles, right? Relatively cleaned out. We still want some garbage in there just in case we need it. Okay. Necromancer, what have you got? Greater staff of fireballs. I'll take it. Misfortune. Ocean of sorcery. Lightning storm. All good shit. All right. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Our ancient Manamo Manamo <laughs> Manamoko fingos. There we go. Check this out. And 76 gold. Okay. And what have we got up around here? Just some quick repairs. Dope. All right. I'm liking it. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. He was hanging out of the asshole. <laughs> All right. What have you got for me? Three Gs? I'll take it. What else around here? Oh, a crab necromancer. Never before have you seen something so foul in your life. What about over here? A chest? Some trash potions? I'll take them. All right. Man, we are not regening at all. We must have some sort of stunted bullshit. That weird gas, right? Weakness? Yeah, astral vapors. My god. Astral vapors is probably the worst fucking one, huh? All right, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> also just cured our paralysis. There we are. And let's pop on up around. Man, I guess our friends are dead. They died in this hellish place. Oh, no, wait. Are they still fighting? No, Major's Apprentice. Oh, you already died. Necromancer. Necromancer. No way, are they still fighting? Oh, no, they're trying to fight me. <laughs> All right. I was like, man, Sir Vita, you're still going at it, huh? Right. Taking care of you. Good shit. Alrighty. May as well get some of that. Get some shielding. And let's see. What's inside here? 76 gold again. Alright. And we'll head on over this way. Whoops. Okay. Ah, this is the butthole. Oh, okay. Let's see. Take a look at our map. Make sure we've checked every. No, we have not checked everything. Okay. So if we go down the butthole... Oh, we should not go down the butthole, though, should we? We should go over here, right? Yeah, this way. Oh, no, we should have gone down the butthole. Okay. My bad. My mistake. All right. Travel down through here. Ooh. Gosh, made a mid-butthole collision. All right. Now, if we head down here and go to the left, we should be perfect. All right? It should take us to a new fantastic area. Ah, this must be where they slept on their... Tempurpedic. Alright. Anything else over here? Ah, I got a whole bunch of real Baron Zaya. Ah, fitting that they would die to this sword. Alright. Necromancer's chest. Pothole cell key. Huh. I don't think we've seen a cell in here yet. Alright. Oh, just a tiny foot sticking out of there. Well, that is morbid. <laughs> Who do you think was working on this dungeon to say, hey, let's just have a little baby's foot sticking out of there? Jeez. Alright. Let's do a quick repair. And I guess these are the holding cells or whatever. All right. So if we go back this way... No, how do we even get to it? Jesus. Yeah, how do we get to it? I guess back up here? Well, let's try it. All right. Still no sign of Suravita. Just somewhere. Gone. Same goes... Oh, there's Suravita. Poor fucking Suravita. <laughs> Well, oh my god, Seravina had a load of healing potions! Jeez, we're taking all of them. Alright. Wow, we are just over-encumbered with healing. Okay, what the fuck do I even do? Here, let's put on our crime hat. There we are. Perfect. Alrighty. Now let's see over here. Oh no, wait, if there's people being held here, we don't want to scare them by looking like the ultimate criminal. Right? Where's our potion of feather? 
Strong potion of feather. There we are. Good. Okay. Now this way... Yeah, that goes down the butthole. So over here... If we go this way and then all the way up here, yeah. This should lead us to where we want. The holding cells. Alright. Hey, what's up? Alrighty. Let's see here. Let's get Gordon out in the back, hopefully. Good shit. Show me what you've got. Alright. Take care of the dread zombo. Do we need to juice up? Yes, we do. Alright. Man, we were sending him flying back, huh? Look at that. Jeez, dude got mangled up. So did Gordon, I think. Did we just fuck up Gordon? Alright. Poor fucking Gordon. Alright. There we are. Man, how did that even happen? What, what went on there? Alrighty. What have you got? Potion of sorcery. Superior wound. I'll take it. Oh my god, dead captive. Why did they take off his shirt? <laughs> oh god. Okay, anything else going on over here? Let's see. Ugh. Prison cell door. Oh my god, they were keeping bread and cheese in here. <laughs> the ultimate fear of a vamp. Apparently, a nice balanced meal. Because <laughs> that's... You know, <laughs> yeah, of course. In Cyrodiil, of course, it's the perfect meal. It's perfectly balanced. All right. Is that everything? Hmm, let's see. I think so, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Let's head our ass back on out of here. Good shit. Let's see. Now, what else do we have up and around these parts? Take a look at this. Okay. So we've done these inns. Let's consult our big old map. Okay. So I think Horn Cave is the only thing... Oh, no, wait. There's another little doohickey right here. There's some sort of... fort. Okay, let's head on up to Horn Cave. That seems like a good plan to me. Move that. Man, look, all of our dear friends have died. If only all of them were still alive from the start, then maybe with all their powers combined, we could have fought back the necromantic menace. The necromenace. All right. Head on into Horn Cave, see what's up. Hopefully a shitload of minotaurs. If not, what the fuck? Oh, look. <gasps> could this be where we get some Tamika special? Oh, no. It's a bunch of fucking banditos. All right, let's do a quick save and round them all up. There we are. They got a nice big plank of wood there. Looking great. All right. Hard lock door. They're summoning in some weird shit. It's fine. There we are. Should we get Gordon out over here? No. <laughs> we cannot. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, look. We've totally picked through something. All right. Woo! Hey! Wow! There's a lot of people in that room. Uh, All right. Uh, All right. We're just going to head on down here. Pick through this. There we go. Auto attempt. There we are. Ooh, let me in, let me in. Oh god, where did I just go? I thought it was a normal door. Where am I? Horn Cave still pools. Alright, I went back out. Oh, look at this. Hey, this place might have some Tamikas. Oh shit. Oh, we're going back in. Alright. Got Ratulon. Excuse me? There we are. Man, there's a lot of rats in here. And bandits. Okay. What a disgusting looking lit room. It's just like... A slight glow to it. Yo, look! There we go, Horn Cave. Alright. Where's our friend at? Huh. No idea. There we go, now they're fighting. That's some good shit. Okay. Fighting one another? Let's see, can we go up this? Oh, yeah, we can, but we have to pick it. We have to use our lockpick very carefully on this ladder. <laughs> Alright. Let's make them uh, change their mind here. Will they fight this dude? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, this is good! This is very good. Alright, can we talk to this guy? Alright, no, I thought he was he was here to present something to me. Alright, there we are. Take care of this fool. Oh, shit. There we are. Oh, please die. Okay. Whew, perfect. Alright, heal on up. Let's get some of that out. Good. <laughs> They're fucking going out with that Minotaur, man. Minotaur. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez, look at him go. Didn't expect a skelly man from behind. All right, you know what, Minotaur, dude? I'm going to help you out against this hedge wizard. There we are. Look at that. Oh, come on, Minotaur, man. Come on, Minotaur, man. Come on. Jeez. All right. We're talking about some islands or something. Man, maybe they're talking about the Shivering Isles. All right. There we are. 
<laughs> good enough. Let's see, Hedge Wizard, you got anything good? Take these potions. That's always good. All right, speaking of potions, we're gonna need to pop another one here, aren't we? All right, lock picks. Let's drink up while we can. Good shit. Oh yeah, look at all this booze. We need to comb through it, don't we? Oh shit. Oh, here they are. Uh, take some of that. There we are, ignore the floating torch. Alright. <laughs> they don't know what to do with Gordon on the approach. Alright. Oh shit. Okay. There you guys go. <laughs> Come on, Gordon! Come on, Gordon! Get back up! Oh no. Are they fighting each other now? Oh, I can't move. Oh god. Okay, I think they're fighting each other. I think. Oh! Oh, they've ganged up on him! Alright, here, I'm just gonna carefully glug down a potion right over here. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Look at him go. Alright. Well, if you two don't mind, I'm just gonna search through this wine here real quick. I just have a nice one over there behind me. It's really brothers, basic. Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Didn't expect to, that you'd be finished so soon. There we are. Take care of him, Gordon. I gotta peruse this. There we are. Cheap wine, Cerilli Brothers. Yep, cheap, Cerilli, Cerilli. Okay. Maybe they have it on them? Strong healing? And this. Yeah, we checked all that. How about this guy? What'd you have? Strong healing. I'll take it, though. Okay, and up in here. Cerilli Brothers. Man, they must have totally just robbed the vineyard, huh? Horn Cave Cellar Key. A little bit of gold. Wow, it's all individually stacked. Spoiled by Morrowind having, uh... The gold that you can just drop. Wow, look at all this! It really turned a profit. Here, Gordon, take these cups off of here. Covered pot as well. Yeah, I want this money. There we are. Oh, yeah, the money table. Okay, what's this? Oh! Oh, they must be, like, juicing up these rocks and turning rocks into grapes. Wow, that's amazing. All right, these bandits were really onto something. <laughs> all right, let's take a look here. Local map. Oh, jeez. Okay. So we just came out of there, which means up here is kind of a dead end. Nothing much. But we should still go up there and check it out, right? Because there may be a stash of wine right there. Mead. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, this is a dead-ass end. Okay. Mead, say mead. Oh, look, is this something? Oh, there is something here. Cheap wine. Ale. Okay. Fuck that. Alrighty. Let's head on down. Into the pool area, right? Could you imagine if it was just a gigantic pool of mead or wine or something? Holy shit. Alrighty, I'm surprised there- maybe it was cut content, you know? A Cerilli Brothers <coughs> questline or something where you have to come here to investigate the bandits who stole some of their wine? That would make sense. Alright. Take a look over here. Let's see. Check inside this. Anything? Got a big ogre lord. There we are. Throw the perp on him. Make him jiggle. There you go. Good stuff. Slash him up. Oh, all out juice. Let's get some more. Let's see. Do a quick scroll. And what have we got? Common. Take one. And another common. Good enough. Alright. There we are. Should be able to get this dude's soul just fine. Yeah, good shit. Alrighty. What have we got in this chest? There we are. I mean, if we were gonna find the 399 vintage anywhere, I feel like this dungeon would be it. But we may have to resort to other locales. Chest, common soul gem, and a little bit of gold. Alright, over here? Anything? No. How about down inside these briny depths? Oh look, there's a shroom chest! Oh wow, three greater soul gems filled with petty souls. <laughs> okay. Man, a fucking random adventurer must have been through here. Okay. What have we got? More of this. Get some air real quick. Where does this lead to? Oh, Horn Cave Grottoes. Oh, shit. Alright. Where does this go to? Horn Cave? Okay. Well, let's check up here real quick before we head into the grotto area. There we are. Oh, look. A Minotaur Man. Okay. Here, Gordon. Oh, no, wait. Gordon's already spawned in. There we are. Let's take care of this asshole. There we are. Good. Love it. Alright. Let's juice on up. There we are. 
Got some rats over here. Anything down here, though? Hmm. Any of that good wine? No, I don't think so. All right. Head on up here. Oh, fucking Will of the Wisp. All right. Get Gordon out inside here. Tango with him. Oh, there you go. Eat shit. Good. Okay. Rat also dealt with. Oh, look. Short Sword of the Inferno. Not really anything we need, though. Okay. How about up and over this? No. Nah, chest that we can't open. They're all dinged up. Okay. Where's this go to? Oh, back to the grottos that we saw earlier. Oh, look. I guess this loops around or something? Oh, yeah. It totally does. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Eh. Was that? No, I thought that was a bottle of wine. Okay. Let's see what's in the grotto. Hopefully some of that $3.99. Huh? Have we been down here? No. It all just looks very similar. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What else is new? Let's see. What, what do we got over here in the corner? Secret treasure chest full of? <gasps> 87 Gs. All right. And some foul asshole. There we are. Paralyze him. Slash him up. Into the fetal position. There we go. Good shit. Oh god, we fucked up though with the... With some of that business. Gordon, finish that rat off. Wow, the rat! The rat of power! Oh my gosh, it has displayed its dominance before Gordon. Stun locking. Oh, okay. It wasn't that powerful. <laughs> Alright. Two gold. Anything over here? Bunch of fucking rocks. Damn, who'd have thought? Bunch of fucking rocks inside of a cave? What will they think of next? Damn, the environmental storytelling is off the fucking charts! Let's see. Weak potion of sorcery. What we got? Pop on up here. Anything good? Look at all this. The fucking grotto business everywhere. Alright. Take care of you. And the banditos really did not go in so deep, huh? There we are. It's kind of interesting to see these dungeons that are combos of the different kinds of monsters that can spawn, right? You got bandito humanoids and just wild... wildlife. I don't know what kind of monster... just creatures, I guess? Take the drag wax. Alright, do we have any more potions of whatever the hell? I don't think so. We may have to put on our cowl, right? Uh, we can detect a whole bunch of shit, though. Look. Huh. That's useful. I think that's Corden over there. Okay. Cool. Oh shit. Shit's falling on top of my ass. Alright. Not a person at all, but a spriggan. Okay. There we are. Juice back up. Take care of you. Good. Alright. Whoops. Whip out the torch here. Our torch keeps going out. I guess because of the water, huh? Okay. Head on through here. This little cavernous area. Well, have we got but a Minotaur man. Ugh. There we are. Eat a butt. Alright. Let's juice up. Good. Got something else there. Is that fish? Huh. Totally looks like a slaughterfish, doesn't it? Alright. Grain soul gem empty. I guess that has some potential. But we'll probably waste it on a fucking slaughterfish here in a minute. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Pick this open. Ooh. Okay. Well, that ain't where I expected that would go. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I guess we cleared it all. For some reason, there's just a fish over there. Why is there a fish? Can we get to that thing? I don't think so. Can we get to that magical fish? Oh, weird. That fish must be, like, merging with the world or Oh, no, wait. Oh, that's a rat. Okay. All right, let's see here. Take care of you. Oh god. All right, if we kill it, it goes into. Oh shit! It went into the grand soul gem. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's see. Let's head on out this way. All right, horn cave still pools back out here. Okay, and then oh, right through all this. Great, and then we pop out here. Yeah, we saw this earlier. This is the path to the grotto that was underwater. Good. Okay, now how do we get out? Horn Cave, up this way. Oh, anything in this? Nope, just some torches. Looking for that $3.99. And you know what? I think we're fresh out of fucking luck, huh? No $3.99 up in here at all! Alright, back to the Grey Forest. Hey, Prior Mabel, what's going on? Alright, cool. Well, I suppose when next we come back, we will continue our wild-ass adventures. Just equip my Wootloot rank so 
when in between videos I go to vendor stuff, I don't instantly get attacked by everyone. All right. Well, like I said, when next we come back, we will have our full slew of adventurers who perhaps this time they will fare better. Well, I'll try and be on the lookout for ones who are using bow and arrow or magic in some way, though I, I don't know. Maybe at Battlehorn Castle we can find one that prefers archery? And probably same goes for Dark Brotherhood. Maybe there's also Dark Brotherhood spellcasters, right? Yeah, who's to say? Okay, yeah. When next we come back, all that shit. However, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing just a little bit of reading. And today, we will be reading... Let's see here... One of the other, the other of the two books that we found in the Dark Sanctum, or what was it called? The, uh, the DLC place, you know? Let's see, the, the ancient, terrible place. Rizlov the Righteous. Let's see, let's take a look at it. What was it even called? The Dark Sepulcher? No. Was it? Deep Score and Hollow. All right. There we are. And let's see, Rizlov the Righteous. Rizlov the Righteous by Sinjin. Like all true heroes, Rizlov the Rich had inauspicious beginnings. We are told by chroniclers that the springtide night of the 448th year of the first era on which he was born was unreasonably cold, and that his mother, Queen Lenada, died very shortly after setting her eyes setting eyes upon her son. If he were much beloved of his father, King Mus of Skingrad, who already had plenty of heirs, three sons and four daughters before him, the chroniclers make no mention of it. His existence was so very undistinguished that we hear virtually nothing of him for the first twenty years of his life. Gosh, isn't this similar to, um... God, what was that one funny book? Remember the the one where is the the dude whose father didn't give a shit and he went to live by himself? It was, um... How he had to obtain everything by himself. I forgot the name of the book. But you know the one I'm talking about? Even the name Rizlov the Righteous? Huh. Alright. His schooling, we can suppose, was similar to that of any spare prince in the Kolovian West, with alien tutors to teach him the ways of hunting and battle. Etiquette, religious instruction, and even basic statecraft were seldom a part of the training of a prince of the highlands, as it was the more civilized valley of Nibine. There is a brief reference to him. Together with his family as part of the Rolls of Honor during the coronation of the Emperor Gorius of, on the 23rd of Sun's Dawn, First Era, 4, 461, the ceremony, of course, held during the time of the Elysian Doctrines of Maruk, and so was without entertainment. But the 13-year-old Rizlov was still witness to some of the greatest figures of legend. The beast of Anequa, of, uh, Anequina, Darlok Bray, present, uh, represented his kingdom, giving honor to the Empire. The chieftain of Skyrim, Kyorik the White, and his son, Hoag, were in attendance. And despite the Empire's intolerance of all elves, Kymer Induril Nerevar and Dwemer Dumak Dwarf King were evidently there as well, diplomatically representing Resdain. Uh, all in relative peace. Also mentioned on the rolls was a young Mur in service to the Imperial Court of High Rock, who was to have great history with Rizlov, Rien Direni. Whether the two young men of about the same age met and conversed is entirely the stuff of historians' fancy. Rien is spoken of in praising words as a powerful landowner, eventually buying the islands of Balfiera in the Iliac Bay, and gradually conquering all of High Rock and large parts of Hammerfell and Skyrim. But Rizlov is not heard of again in history's books for another 17 years. We can only offer supposition based on the facts that follow. Children of kings are, of course married to the children of other kings to bind alliances. The kingdoms of Skingrad and Kavach skirmished over common territory throughout the 5th century until they reached a peace in the year 472. 
The details of this accord are not recorded, but since we know that Prince Vrislav was in the court of Kavach six years later as husband to Beline, the daughter of King Justinius, it is fair to make an educated guess that they were married than to make peace. This brings us to the year 478, when a great plague swept through all of Cyrodiil and seemed particularly concentrated in the independent Colovian West. Among the victims were King Morhus, Morhus and the rest of the entire royal family in Skingrad. Rizlov's only surviving elder brother, Dorald, survived, being in the imperial city as a priest of Maruk. He returned to his homeland to assume the throne. Of Dorald, we have some history. The king's second son, he was slightly simple-minded and evidently very pious. All the chroniclers spoke of his sweetness and decency, how he saw a vision in his early years that brought him, with his father's blessing, from Skingrad to the imperial city and the priesthood. The priesthood of Maruk, of course, saw no difference between spiritual and political matters. It was the religion of the Elysian Empire, and it taught that to resist the emperor was to resist the gods. Given that, it is scarcely a surprise what Doral did when he became king of the independent kingdom of Skingrad. His first edict, on his very first day, was to cede the empire to the uh, cede the kingdom to the empire. The reaction throughout the Colovian estates was shock and outrage, nowhere more so than in the court of Kavach. Rizlav Larich, we are told, rode forth to his brother's kingdom, together with his wife and two dozen of his father-in-law's cavalry. It was surely not an impressive army, no matter how the chroniclers embellish it, but they had little trouble defeating all the guards Doroud sent to stop them. In truth, there was no actual battling, for the soldiers of Skingrad represented their new king's decision to give up their autonomy. The brothers faced one another in the castle courtyard, where they had grown up. In typical Colovian fashion, there was no trial, no accusations of treason, no jury, no judge, only an executioner. "'Thou art no brother of mine,' Rizlav, Rizlav Larich said, and struck Dorald's head from his shoulders in one blow. He was crowned King of Skingrad, still holding the same bloody axe in his arms. Jesus. If King Rizlav had no battle experience beforehand, that was surely to change. Word spread quickly to the imperial city that Skingrad, once offered, was now being taken back. Jorius was an accomplished warrior, even before taking the throne, and the seventeen years he had as emperor were scarcely peaceful. Only eight months before Dorald's assassination and Rizlav's ascendancy, Jurius and the Elysian army had faced another of his coronation guests, Churik the White, on the fields of the frozen north. The high chieftain of Skyrim lost his life in the Battle of Sungard. While the pact of chieftains was selecting a new leader, Cyrodiil was busily grabbing back the land of southern Skyrim that it had lost. In short, Emperor Jurius knew how to deal with rebellious vassals. The Alessian army poured westward, like a flood of death, to borrow the chronicler's phrase, in numbers far exceeding what would be required to conquer Skingrad. Jorius could not have thought actual battle was likely. Rizlov, as we said, had little to no experience at warfare, and only a few days' practice at kingcraft. His kingdom, and all of the Colovian West, had just been ravaged by plague. The Elysians anticipated that a mere show of arms... The Elysians anticipated that a mere show of arms and a surrender. Uh, okay. Rizlov instead prepared for battle. He quickly inspected his troops and drew up plans. The chroniclers who had heretofore ignored the life of Rizlov 
now devote verse after verse describing the king's aspect with fetishistic delight. While it may lack literary merit and taste, we are, at least, given some details at last. Not surprisingly, the king wore the finest armor of his era, as the Colovian estates then had the finest leathersmiths, the only type of armor available in all of Tamriel. The king's Klebanian mail, boiled and waxed for hardness and studied with inch-long spikes, was a rich chestnut red, and he wore it over his black tunic, but under his black cloak. Ah, uh, this must this all must be an explanation for the armor that you get with that DLC, right? The statue of Rizlav the Righteous, which now stands in Skingrad, is a romanticized version of the king, but not inaccurate, except in the armor represented. No bard of the Colovian West would have gone to the market so lightly protected, but it does, as we will see, include the most important accoutrements of Rizlav, his trained hawk and his fast horse. The winter rains had washed through the roads to the south, sending much of the west wheels spilling into Valenwood. The emperor took the northern route, and King Rizlav, with a small patrol of guards, met him at a low pass on what is now the Gold Road. The emperor's army, it is said, was so large that the beast of Anakina could hear its march from hundreds of miles away, and despite himself, the chroniclers say he quaked in fear. Rizlav, it was said, did not quake. With perfect politeness, he told the emperor that his party was too large to be accommodated in the tiny kingdom of Skingrad. Next time, Rizlav said, right before you come. The emperor was, like most Alessian emperors, not a man of great humor, and he thought Rizlav touched by Sheogorath. He ordered his personal guests to arrest the poor madman, but at that moment the king of Skingrad raised his arm and sent his hawk flying into the sky. It was a signal his army had been waiting for. The Elysian were all within the pass and the range of their arrows. King Rizlav and his guards began riding westward as fast as if they had been kissed by wild Kinnereth, as the chroniclers said. He did not dare look behind him, but his plan went faultlessly. The far eastern end of the pass was sealed by rolling boulders, giving the Elysian no direction to go but westward. The Skingrad archers rained arrows down upon the Imperial army from far above on the plateaus, remaining safe from reprisal. The furious Emperor Gorius chased Rizlav from the Weald to the Highlands, leaving Skingrad far behind, all the while his army growing steadily smaller and smaller. In the ancient Highland forest, the Imperial army met the army of Rizlav's father-in-law, father the King of Kavaj. The Alessian army likely still outnumbered their opponents, but they were exhausted, and their morale had been obliterated by the chase amid a sea of arrows. After an hour's battle, they retreated north into what is now the Imperial Reserve, and from there, further north and east, to slip back to nurse their wounds and pride in Nibine. It was the beginning of the end of the Helician hegemony. The kings of the Colovian West joined with Kavac and Skingrad to resist imperial incursions. The clan Dereni, under Rien, was inspired to outlaw the religion of the Elysian Reform throughout his lands in High Rock, and began pushing into imperial territories. The new High Chief of Skyrim, Hogue, now called Hogue Murkiller, though sharing the Emperor's official xenophobia, he also joined the resistance. His heir, King Yzmir Wolfharth of Atmora helped continue the struggle upon Hogue's death in battle, and also ensured his place in history. The heroic king of Skingrad, who faced the emperor's army virtually alone and triggered its end, 
justly deserves the sobriquet, sobriquet, I have no idea what that word is, of Rizlav the Righteous title. Huh. Man, fascinating, very in-depth tale of a case in which, uh, I, I guess you would say at the time it was a province, right? At the time, the uh, the highlands and all that, in the Colovian highlands and stuff, they weren't part of Cyrodiil, right? I guess they were technically part of Skyrim? Or maybe the Colovians were just a separate province at that time, right? Maybe that's what you're supposed to read into that. Yeah, because it denotes the Colovians as a separate... It doesn't group it together with Skyrim, does it? Or maybe it's part of Ham... No, I yeah. If it were part of Hammerfell, it probably would have just said Hammerfell. Yeah. Huh. Interesting stuff. Yeah, I wonder where Anvil was. In, or maybe Anvil is a newer town, right? All this mention of Kavach and Skingrad, but not so much Anvil. Which I guess totally checks out, right? As far as, like, the shape of Cyrodiil, it's kind of... You could easily see how this part could be chopped right off, right? Huh. Yeah, that's fascinating. All right. And also some surprising little input on other characters like uh, Izmir and, uh, of course, Nerevar, all that weird shit. Yeah, surprising, uh, a lot of name drops going on in there. Do we ever hear of Rizlov anywhere else besides that book? Maybe you do in Skyrim. Maybe. All right. Well, when next we come back, more miscellaneous mayhem. Until next time, peace!